find the equation of the line as graphed. All right, I have already up here the slope intercept form, which is usually the easiest way to figure out the equation of a line when you're starting from looking just at the graph. So let's see if we can identify some things here. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. That's the slope intercept form of the equation of any line. And what we have is y is just a variable, m is the slope, which is also known as your rise over run, times another variable x, and then plus the y intercept. So what do we mean by y-intercept? The y-intercept is the place on the y-axis where the line crosses the graph. So let's label the y-axis, which is right here on this vertical line, and the x-axis, certainly you probably know this, is right there. So where does this green graphed line cross the y-axis? Looks like it's happening right about there, right? And so if we count from 0 down 1, 2, then we get our y-intercept coordinate of negative 2. So now we can come in and replace the y-intercept portion of this with negative 2. All right, now what about the slope? That is your rise divided by run. So if you just begin from the point we already have here and start counting up and over, I'm going to count to another point. First, let's find a good point uh, that goes through an intersection um, on the grid there. That way it's real clear of what we're looking at. So what is that point? That point is 1 on the x-axis and uh, looks like positive 2 on the y-axis. Now I'm not going to do a calculation with the slope formula because I can simply start here and count up 1, 2, 3, 4. So I just went a rise of positive 4. I'm going to put that into my formula there. And then from there, how many units do I have to run to the right to get to the second point here? So obviously I'm just moving one unit. So that's a run of positive 1 since we went in the positive direction for x. So our slope here is 4. And now I can come in and replace that in the formula. And there is my answer. The answer is y equals slope of 4 times x plus, oh, it's a negative 2. And there we have it.